Welcome back to Skyrim. I'm Crix. Let's get into it. Okay. I think today in this episode we were gonna start we were gonna join the stormcloaks. Okay. Alright, let's get started. Let's see, do we wanna join the stormcloaks or do we wanna go ahead and do some of the, the quests here? I don't know. Let's go for the strong bugs. I definitely don't like to join the Empire. So we're gonna go for the rebellion. Aldrich won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If I interrupt something? Us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. <laughs> Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement. Don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? Okay. They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Uflik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Galmar thinks we should double our men in the Reach. A reasonable strategy. And you, Yorli? Well, sir, the hold of Falkreath is fairly vulnerable and blocks the only road from Cyrodiil. A good point, old friend. To be sure, my lord, I am not skilled in the arts of war or military tactics. But you're able to see the hold in the parts, and for that I'm grateful. As you wish, sir. Dang. Now we can talk to him. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? 
Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Same as you. Rayloff's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. Yeah. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Alright. I won't do any, uh, Saves Guild stuff while I'm working with you. <laughs> Hmm. Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah, but first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Foreigner, hell. This guy's a Nord, man. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. Uh-oh. Bring it. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. There's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Alright. We'll, we'll be back see soon. About that, won't we? Alright, this is usually pretty quick. So. Message, sir. I'm diverting Gar and Hadron's men to join. Is that wise, sir? Hmm? It will work if we can pull Haran's men from the south and find a bit of luck. Of course. Something that seems to be in short supply these days. Hmm. I'm not seeking advice right now, friend. Alright. Let's get to it. It shouldn't take long. Alright. Uh. Gotta go up here. See, I'll jump over there and I'll pause it for the um for the ride over that we all ain't gotta watch that. Alright, we're here. Just gotta get up over the obstacles here. <laughs> Alright. Now Anigo's probably not gonna make it here yet. Uh Probably stuck down there somewhere, but it's all right. We we got this. Okay, we're done. <laughs> all right, um, let's go ahead and port back. <laughs> We told him we'd be right back. <laughs> right? Tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. No, but this one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crown. It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. 
Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found it. When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. Sure. It will be there. You'll see. You're alive. Yeah. I owe Ulfric a drink. Uh. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. Hmm. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a hero of the people, a true son of Skyrim. A storm cloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. <laughs> oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Yeah, I'm not going to use that armor. You give me a good storm cloak, clo uh, storm cloak, cloak. Oh, where is that? Watch yourself. Hmm. All right, what's the mission? I have found the final resting place of the jagged crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon, but if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Oh, yeah. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Gotcha. Right. Don't wait. Okay, so before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'm going to jump back to, over to, work, to the player home. I need to dump some stuff off. So we'll, I'll pick it back up when we get there. Alright guys, we are not far away now. It's just right over the right over here. Gotta meet up with the crew and then we'll head on in. Looks like they're waiting right over there. Hail Ilfil. Hail Galmar. What's the situation? Ah! I knew you'd join us. Great news. We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? Yeah. I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood. And I don't care who knows it. Welcome back, Roloff. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do. And nothing's going to stand in our way. Cold as the inside of an ice race. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance, staying nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? Let's do it. That's what I like to hear. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Damn it, that's how we're going. Those spies must have found out we know about the crown, and they don't want us to have it. They won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex legion and may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me. We Finally. Put their guts on the ground before they even know we're here. Get on with it. Hey. Come on through, guys. Alright, let's go. I think I just missed a little bit of dialogue, but oh well. That looks cool. We don't want any Imperial reinforcements taking us by surprise. The rest of you lot are with me. Nah. Hmm. Okay, this is the, that's the exit. <clears throat> some puzzles to figure out I think <clears throat> I don't like the look of this perfect spot for an ambush 10 to 1 they're just waiting for us on the other side but there isn't any other way through oh are you sure about that then please be my guest and go strolling mm. on in there. We'll stay here and watch your back. I think it's up here the way to get in. Then perhaps we should take a look around and See if you can find another way We'll charge in to help as soon as we are fighting. Switch over to the bow. Got a bunch of guards down there. Catch! Where is this? 
Where's this thing that gonna activate to open the door? I don't remember. <clears throat> what was that? Did I already open it? Okay, they got him. And way to go, an ego! That was not combat, that was obliteration. Yeah, yeah, that it was. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. What do we got here? Take that, that spear. I like that. Oh, hello. Alright, um. Here, trap. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go that way. I'm gonna run through this. <clears throat> no? Ah! It's just those traps. Okay, um, yeah, we got this thing down here. The hall of stories. We must be getting close now. Oh, I've heard of this. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we've uncovered? Hello. One thing. Is that ebony dragon? Where'd he go? Dragon Claw. Oh, oh, wrong one. Okay, now zoom in. Wolf Moth Dragon. Okay. Yet a time <clears throat> here for the crown. Any of these carvings show a crown? Hmm. That looks like some kind of claw from a stick. I wonder what it's used for. No wonder. <laughs> and now that's done. Good job. All right, everyone. Keep your guard up. Don't tell me what you'll find down here. Okay, can't go that way. What do we got? Oh, this is the part where I was... Okay. I thought I was doing this part earlier. Yeah. yeah. I gotta find the way through. It's like a, some kind of switch or something on the wall. <clears throat> Come a on chain boy. or something. Let's spread out and see what we've got. I know it's here. Right? Do what you do best. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. You got it, dude. Do what you can do. Alright, it's gonna be through this way, I know that. <clears throat> okay. Um, what do we got here? Glass dagger. Uh oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> and there she is. Oh, trapped. It's, it's got a trap on it. I saw it too late. <laughs> okay, now the switch. Yeah, there it is. Um, crap, I just locked myself in here. That's not the one I was looking for, evidently. Okay, I know there's one close by. I don't think it's down here, though. <clears throat> I think I overlooked it up here, or I just didn't go far enough. Oh, 
discover anywhere. I'm looking, I'm looking. There it is. That's not it. All right, boys. Let's get it. Ah, crap. Hey, now. They may be uglier than Imperials, but they'll go down just the same. <laughs> Trying to give him a little bit of a chance. Hey, I found the found over here. Get to Vindhelm with the crown as quick as you can. Tell Ulrich he owes me a drink. <laughs> I hear a word wall. Go around here for a while and see if we can find anything else useful. I'm stuck. Ah, there we go. Eternity, slow time. Nice. Let's see, do I have any extra dragon souls to put towards that? Yeah, I do. Okay. There are liable to be some more enemies on the way out. If not Imperials, then uh, Draugr. Should be coming up to that uh, wooden... Yeah. yeah. We went down that way. Alright. Gotta get to uh, Windhelm as soon as possible. of kings go ahead and turn this in and we'll start to new moon tonight new moons the one where the moon is uh, hidden all right we'll go ahead and turn this in and then we'll go ahead and call Empire it Skyrim silver makes them fierce but rest assured we'll win Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? The blood of our fallen heroes will make Skyrim free. Never doubt it. Also, never doubt me or Garmar. Now then, I'm glad you Still hope it was worth it. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rod. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruf will know my meaning. 
Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. So thank you guys for joining me. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. It'll let you know whenever I publish new videos. Y'all comment and share if you like. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there. Alright y'all. I'm going to go ahead and take off. I'm Crix. Y'all take it easy. Later.